Hi, I'm at Point Pleasant Park to help you identify white pine. So here we've got a young, relatively small white pine amongst some really tall, mature pine. So way up top, this is how we know pine. They grow really tall with long, slender trunks and at the top they're really full and wide. And in the wind, they're, they're called the whispering pine or they, they'll sing in the wind. So there are several species of pine in Nova Scotia and in our region. So to know the difference, we're looking for a few features. So the, the needles themselves on white pine are long and slender. They're a dark green and they have a, uh, a point at the tip. Other pines are shorter and wider. And the key is in how many pine needles emerge from the stem together. So you'll see there are little bundles and with white pine, those are bundles of five needles that are coming out of a single point on the stem. Whereas other pines may have two and three needles coming from a bundle. So that would be pines such as the jack pine and the Scots pine. So yeah, so we've got the five, the five needles in a bundle, long and slender dark green and it's an evergreen tree although some years in the fall pine will shed its needles as a way of cleansing and making room for new growth so the needles will turn brown and it can look quite shocking uh, like the large larger part of a pine tree a mature pine tree will literally turn brown and, and lose its needles and those would be the older mature needles that are spent and then new needles will come in this spring to replace it so yeah, I hope you can get out there and enjoy your walk in the woods to find white pine. And then it'll be the needles that you'll want to harvest for making various herbal preparations. Although there is some traditional use of the bark as well. And it has a gorgeous scent. Okay, enjoy your tree walk.